in the top. Well, why don't we take a look around? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, yeah. before we start in there, uh, yeah. you do you did set up a really nice camp outside. Yes. So but this a... takes up a lot of room in the minivan. Actually, the back storage box is what holds all of the tents and stuff. So this is my storage box. It holds the 10 by 10. Um, let's see if we can get it open. So the 10 by 10 sits across here. The green tent sits on top of it. The big two bedroom tent sits right there. And then that sits right there. This is full of dog food. And then I've got my stuff to get water, an extension cord, a big first aid kit, and all of my uh, tools, basically. I've got 20 pounds of mm -hmm. propane. Here. I've got a five pound propane that can go inside if I want to cook inside. This swings out. Mm -hmm. We attached uh, two five gallon water tanks on there and I carry two seven gallons inside. So you <laughs> hired someone to help you do this. Yeah. We took out the stone go seats and created all this extra room. So when I'm sitting in the chair, I can lift this up, access my zero degree sleeping bag. I've got my hoodies and really big stuff in here, like hoodies mm -hmm. and stuff. And I wanted it to oh my, what a clever. fold out so I can have a table. So that is really smart. Here. I can eat here, which is really cool. My batteries are in here. This isn't attached yet, but we're gonna put a board right here and bed line this and put a, a bathtub thing in there, a drain, uh -huh. so that I can move all that into the front seat and hold it up like this. It kind of sits right here and I can actually climb in there and shower off if I need to and then just put my portable sink underneath and drain the water. And then that water goes into my flushing toilet, so it's getting reused. But I'm at actually be able to have a bathtub in here. Wow, that would be pretty <laughs> amazing if you did that. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. I came to the van build event with the Max van not hooked up, and the solar was not hooked up, and they hooked it all up for me, which was super cool. Your bed is pretty unusual. Why yeah, don't we Why don't we is. take a look at that bed? Because it is kind of unusual. So this is basically a Chase Lounge with a really nice padding on it. Something like that. Is that a yeah. way to visualize it? Why don't you show us how that works? This just folds out. When that's not in the way. There we go. And then that can lean back. That, as like far a as like you a want. chase lounge, it goes or down all the way back. too. Yeah. Yeah. And it has little legs in the back that zipper out of them to hold it down. That's very unique. Yeah. Folds away and gives you plenty of space. Yeah, and I take it out and I put it in the tent and sleep on it in the tent. Right. Let's che let's check out your electrical center. You have I solar. Don't know much about it. <laughs> and how many watts do you know? Do you know? Have... I have two 100 watt solar panels on the roof. Right. I have a 1500 watt inverter. Uh, and then. This is well done. Somebody at it lights up though, and the lights irritate me, so yeah. I put little <laughs> yeah. things over them. Um, somebody attached a car plug and two USB plugs so mm -hmm. I don't have to turn on the inverter to run everything. So I got the max fan up top and it is on backwards. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the only way it would open with the cargo box there. So, and it's okay because the wind gets blocked by the solar panels. So does the solar panel lay down or it's permanently that way? They can lay down, but it's a real hassle to lay them down. And so for in the van, I have my bucket. Oh, there, look at that. Yeah. That's your bucket. And this also breaks down if you want to break it down. And I actually put a funnel in there. It's a mason jar with a funnel. So if I need to go in and dump it somewhere, it's a blue mason jar. I can put the lid on. No one knows. With it being blue, you yeah. can't tell what's in there. And in it is the lid to the mason jar, wipes, uh, more of these biodegradable bags. And then usually I've got two little zipper things that are drying over there with a little shovel and one of those go girls. And mm -hmm. that clips onto my backpack. So if I'm backpacking, I can take that with me. <laughs> See, we built 
underneath here. Lifts. Huge amount of storage so there. Tons of food yeah. on that side. And when we're traveling, the fridge moves forward and the table that is in the tent goes there with all the kitchen stuff underneath it. And yeah, so it's kind of a hassle to get to the food. I have to move things around. But it's nice having all the food in the van and not having to put it in the tent. I'm trying to get used to that. So when I go to bear country, <laughs> the food stays in the van. Right. So here we've got the Jackery plugged into a hundred and I think 20 watt TP solar. And it folds up to like the size of a pad of paper. This panel is charging that battery. So you have two complete systems. Yes. You gotta have a backup for the backup. Yeah, no, that <laughs> really is wise. Yeah. Because what you get, as you've seen, you get some days of sun and you start to struggle. I mean, there are yeah. clouds. Yeah. With no sun, you start to struggle. Yeah, oh, I wanna show you one of the best things I bought. And I think I spent 20 bucks on it. Goes right under my seat. And I'm actually cooking my lunch. Oh, right yeah, uh-huh. Kind of a 12, foot, 12 volt It's a oven. heated lunch box. Oh, wow. So those are vegan chicken sandwiches I'm gonna have because, well, it's raining yeah. and I'm busy here doing this. Right. So, or when I'm driving to a new location, I don't have to cook. Yeah. And while I'm setting up camp and all that, my dinner is already made. So you took out the front seat and passenger seat and now it's a dog bed. It was originally for the fridge, but mm -hmm. he kind of took over. He likes to hang his head out and drool flapping in the wind. <laughs> and he's a, he's a pretty good sized dog. Yeah. How much does he weigh? Probably close to 100 pounds. Yeah. He's big. He's he's big dog. And everybody said it couldn't be done with him in a minivan, but we've there. got tons of space. You want me to show you in the tent? Yeah, let's show you. With all of my morning stuff and I'll just click it on and I'll just shower off right here. This is usually clean so I can get a clean break in here to get dressed. So this is a 12 volt, little 12 volt pump goes in there. Yeah, it's a 12 volt pump. And what I liked about this one is it came with an extra thing to charge. So while you're using one, you have a second one that you can charge. And this is how it gets set up in the van where the fridge is right now. That's where all of this sits and the fridge moves up into the front and then he rides between my two chairs. Right, so everything has a place and you can stow it and yeah. still cook at the same time while you're driving. Yeah. Well, not while you're driving, but <laughs> while you're traveling. Yeah, I would hope not. This sits behind my my chair mm -hmm. and just it's got a toilet brush, just everything, toilet toilet and... chemicals, yeah, just everything in there. <laughs> and there's your porta potty. Yep, and then these will stack up. So I'll stack this on top of here, and then I can put the porta potty in there. So this cart sits behind my chair along with the other one, and this has all my cleaning stuff in it. And so do you sleep over in this one? I do, yeah, a lot of times, because I don't like to be in the van. I like to experience more of the nature. I'll put the chair across here. I'll put the little table I have over there and put the fire on it so we can watch TV. And then the dog bed will go right there. And then this sits in the very back. So it's my chair facing the front, the two carts, and then this facing out the back. So I can, you know, sit and look out the back of the van if I want. But the cool thing about this is it breaks down. This can slide under my chair. This holds my three inch mattress pad, which unrolls. And then this box breaks down which can also go under my chair. So, uh, do you have any social media you want to tell people about? I do. It is the Da Vinci, like Da Vinci, but van, road. So like the Da Vinci, I messed that up. Instead of the Da Vinci code, it's the Da Vinci road. So D-A-V-A-N-C-I, -I. okay. Yeah. Da Vinci, very clever, road. Well, Mariah, thank you so much for uh, for sharing your life and your home with us. It's really amazing, really great. Thank, thank you. you. Lots of uh, great ideas here for people to follow. So, folks, if you got anything out of this uh, video, and I know you got uh, hundreds of ideas, <laughs> like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.